Well, today is the day. Bright and early. Before the sun even comes up. We're taking the gator, which will make us uh, take a little bit longer. Should just make sure our garage is all locked up. Got some fuel kicking about, but I doubt anyone's going to steal that. Or all the lights are turned off. We're good to go. On to bigger and better things. It's definitely been fun, that's for sure. Definitely been fun. I'll probably pick the camera back up briefly once we get over to Goldcrest Valley. That's like halfway. So, I'll see you guys there. Oh, it's a good thing the heater works well on this thing. It's snowing here. I haven't really seen too many other people. Coming into town, that'll probably change though. I think we've been driving for about an hour, maybe two. I think about two hours now. Still not light yet. We left at a pretty good time. You should get there right about daylight, I think. Oh. Maybe I should have kept the pickup truck. We would have got there a little bit faster. Not too many people out on the roads this time of night. Uh, what's that parked in the road? Well, I think that's a police car. Let me just get out of his way. Ah, there you go. Very nice. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, no. Uh, I guess I should pull over. I swear I didn't run over that sign. What seems to be the problem, officer? Oh, side by sides needs needs license plates. Oh, I'm sorry. I was coming from Bucks County. They don't need license plates over there. I'm heading to Elm Creek. I need plates there too. Okay. Well, is there any place I could get plates? Okay, okay. So you're telling me if you follow me to that tunnel, then I'm good to get plates in the next town. Okay. Okay, thank you, officer. Wow. Apparently we need license plates. At least the officer was pretty cool. He was going to let me drive... Drive down to the uh, next town to get license plates, probably because they'll be open by then. I guess he's just going to sit there and let me pull back out into traffic. License plates. Who knew? I didn't know side-by-sides need license plates. But I guess I'll see you guys in Elm Creek. After I was told I needed a license plate, there was only one plate I knew I could get. Here we are, 
in Elm Creek. Welcome everybody to Elm Creek. I know we left Bucks County with around four hundred thousand dollars. I've already paid off as much of the loan as I can. I wanted to leave myself with a bit of cash. So we still have a five hundred thousand dollar loan. Got a hundred thousand dollars in the bank, but I would rather have some money kicking about. Um, I'm not sure what our expenses are going to be, and I'm not sure what Uncle Glenn actually has uh, at the farm already. This town looks to be pretty nice. It is January. We did drive through some snow there in Goldcrest Valley. Well, there's the local fire hall. He told me once I got out of town and... I think, I can't remember if it was before or after the highway, I needed to turn right. I can't remember. I think it was before the highway, I need to turn right. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Uh, it can't be that big of a place, can it? I sure hope not. Nice little town though, nice little grocery store and everything. Not bad, not bad at all. Okay, so here's the highway. Very nice. Nice looking area. Can't wait for these trees to gain their leaves back. That'll be nice. Uh, I th think it was here, right? Make a right just after the highway. It must have been. Uh, no, no, maybe a left. I can't remember. Uh, that looks like a pretty big operation there on the other side of the creek. Is that Uncle Glenn's place? That's that's the house. I don't remember anything. That barn never used to be there. Neither of those barns. Those silos never used to be there. Those greenhouses never used to be there. Oh, this is a nice looking bridge. No big trucks. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, there's got to be a way to get on to that side. Oh, there's a bridge down here. Perfect. We'll just run across the bridge and should be able to get up to the farm no problem. A little bit of elevation change here coming up the hill. It's nice that they have that posted saying hill. Is that a vineyard? What are those? Those are grapes. There's no grapes on them right now, but those are grape plants. Wonder who owns that. Couple of decent sized little fields here. Wonder what he owns. Another farm up there on the hill, not bad. He's gotta own something. Not sure what fields would be ours or what uh, they're not. I'll have to give him a call. Beautiful area, though. Real beautiful area. Okay, so... It looks like we can get in from here. Little shed. That's a massive si silo complex. Like some diesel and some liquid fertilizer and some normal fertilizer storage. Oh, I guess he's got a telehandler and trailer. That looks like a lot of seed. What's that, lime? Yeah, that's some extra fertilizer bags there. Wow, he really stocked up. I wonder why he's in financial trouble. <laughs> 
Uh, just a random wheat sitting there. Oh yeah, he's got a semi truck with a flatbed and a trailer. I'll be nice. He told me just to make myself right at home, so let's just start looking through the barns here, see what he's got. Nice power washer right there. Open up the door. Okay, so I'm assuming though that vineyard was his because he's got the stuff for the vineyard, a little Landini tractor and a few small pieces of equipment here. Guess that would be the trailer for the grapes and a little tether, a couple of snow plow, a snow plow and a salt spreader, some mowers, and I guess this is the harvester for the grapes. That's a cool piece of equipment. A little dirty, I guess he doesn't wash his equipment all, all that much. That's pretty cool though. Couple of pieces of gear. Wonder what else he has. He's got all these buildings, there must be stuff in them, right? Let's take a little run down here. Oh, another power washer over there. Oh, we got a rake. Another weight. Never have too many weights. Behind door number two, we've got our cedar by the looks of it. A fertilizer spreader, a roller. Another fertilizer spreader, I guess one's for lime. Uh, a bale transport trailer, a stone picker. And I walk beside this nice little T6. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, well, carrying on, let's... uh. Apparently I'm too big to fit through these doors. I guess people are smaller over here than they are at Bucks County. The massive green complex. Absolutely massive. How can he go broke if he's got all this infrastructure? That's what I want to know. He can go broke. That's not leaving me up for much. Nice little solar panel there. Oh yeah, a little workshop. Oh, here we go. A much bigger combine than what I was used to. We got a new Holland here. What, what model number is that? The CH 7.70. Not bad. Decent sized little combine. A little dirty yet. Oh, we got a little corn header here. Foldable. Not bad. And got an actual bean head here as well. That's seen some wear and tear. Kind of small, but okay. And coming around, we've got our baler. And we have this. What is this? New Holland T8. This thing is massive. But not quite as massive as this John Deere behind it. This is a massive forage harvester. My god. We got a subsoiler plow thing. Faulty plow. Platinum. Nice. Oh, we've got a NZ planter here. Turnable one. He even went out and bought the new 8S Massey. Wow. No wonder why. <laughs> I guess there's a reason why this guy's so far in debt. Nice cultivator disc. Not bad at all. Hmm. Oh, we've got a fair bit of equipment for the arable side of things. Huh, okay. Let me jump back over into the side-by-side -side and we'll take a run down the road, see what else we've got going on here. I think it's all connected. Just take a little run down here. Oh, we've got a nice pond. Oh, the dog! There's a dog sitting in the pond. Oh, how convenient. Huh, the dog likes to go for a swim. Okay, so we've got his house. Which I guess is where I'm going to be staying. Guess I put some dog food in the bowl. Got some greenhouses here. Three of them. Not bad. Not bad at all. I guess this would be the sheep pen. No sheep. That's alright. 
He did sell off all his animals. There was no chickens. We've got the nice large cow barn here. We've got another tractor. It looks red. It's probably a Massey. Little drop nose Massey 5S. Not bad. Front loader on it. Nice big set of weights. Get this door opened up. Even got like a little New Holland skid steer. Wow. A little trailer. A little feed mixer by the looks of it. Another trailer. Guess this is the chicken coop here. Very nice. Got a little animal trailer. And a silage pit by the looks of it. Pretty big silage pit. I guess he would put that uh, John Deere forage harvester to good use then. Nice size pasture for the cows. Definitely need to get some livestock. Well, let me get on the horn with uh, Uncle Glenn and let him know that I'm here. See if there's anything that he needs me to do right away. Like maybe cutting down this tree. This tree definitely needs to be moved. That's not a good spot. Not sure. I guess this is the manure heap. Why is there a tree in the middle of the manure heap? That's not right. I'll have to fix that. What's this? Oh, there's some honey here. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got beehives over there. Oh, and a couple of solar panels. Oh, nice. Oh, and here's the dog. Hi, puppers. Hi, puppers. Oh, yeah, those pets good? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Let me get on the horn with Uncle Glenn and see what we can do. So I just got off the horn with uh, Uncle Glenn there, and he wanted me to see if there's any food left in the silo. If there is, that we should probably get some chickens. It's one of the best ways to make some money. So we're just going to run over to the silo here, see if there's any wheat or barley. I think they might even take sorghum, uh, but I th more so wheat or barley. And if we do, we can buy some chickens, start taking care of them. Oh, we do have some wheat, no barley though, but we'll get some wheat, we'll see what they take. Uh, we've got 8,000 liters, that should be enough to take care of some chickens, I would hope. Let's run this down to the chicken coop. And while we're down there, we'll buy some chickens, and I'll probably cut that tree down to start with. You know, gotta start off small, settle into the place. This is the newest tractor I think I've been in in years. This is nice, a little drop nose massy. Not a big fan of the front loader on it. It kind of sticks out a little far, but I'm sure there is a reason why he had to uh, put that on. It looks like a little rock pile there in the grass. Huh. Yeah, uh, things are definitely different than what I'm used to, but uh, we'll get we'll get used to it. All right, so. Let's just see how much chickens cost here. Okay, so chickens. Let's... Hmm, I don't know. We could buy 60 for 3,000. Yeah, let's do that. Let's buy 60 for 3,300. Let's buy those. And uh, what about some day-olds? How much do the day-olds cost? Uh, $360 for 60 of those. Okay, let's buy those as well. We have 120 chickens. I think that's pretty good. And it's fairly cheap. Fairly cheap. Let's give them some food here. I'm not sure. They'll probably end up taking it all, to be honest with you. Can I squeeze through here? Yeah, just enough. We're definitely going to need to get some wheat or barley put into the ground. They took it all. Oh boy. Uh, they've got a good amount of food. So they should be good. Oh, they do take sogorm too. Pretty sure we have some of that in the silo. So we are good for food. 
Maybe I should grab some of that just to top them off to make sure they're going to be good. So I don't have to keep checking on them all the time. But I did grab a chainsaw from the, uh, the shop over there. Well, let's remove this tree. There we go. Just buck it up a little bit. Hopefully we'll be able to move these pieces. There we go. Perfect. We'll just put all you over here for right now. We are going to also have to try to find a stump grinder too. To get rid of that stump. But for right now... Just having that tree out of the way makes it look a whole hell of a lot better. Very nice. Alright, let's go grab a bit more sorghum. Which I think we've got some in the silo over there. And uh, feed the chickens. It is January, so I'm not sure if we can get out into the field and do any work out there, but I'm sure some of those fields need to be cultivated or rolled or something. Along those lines, get some fertilizer put down on them. Should really try to take care of our fields somehow. Okay, so we got a bit of corn. We've got 16,000 liters of soybeans in here. A couple thousand liters of sunflowers. 30,000 liters of sorghum. Uh, 9,000 liters of canola. No oats and no barley and now no wheat. Okay, so we're out of cereal crops, but I'll take uh, a couple thousand liters of sorghum here. 5,000 should be more than enough. We'll end up having to put some back in there for sure. I do like this little crampy trailer. Nice. It's a nice size. This, uh, this little massy definitely pulls it pretty good. Could really make that trail a little bit wider. Oh, there's the dog out for a stroll, I see. Not hurting nobody. I wonder what the loan payment's gonna be, being still like half a million dollars in debt. Just top the chickens up. Didn't take too much extra. That's good. We'll go drop the rest of this in the silo. Uncle Glenn also said something about the winery. Got to go to the winery for something. Not sure exactly what he was talking about. But there is a grape processing plant in town. And if he's got the harvester for it, I wonder if he's got anything sitting down there. Well, that's something we could probably check tomorrow. Or right now. I think we just need to do an analysis of our fields and see what we got. I did see a map in the shop right over there, so we'll go check that out. See what we own, see what we don't, and see what we can do. Oh, I shouldn't have left the door open. Was I raised in a barn? Okay, so we came in from here. Crossed over the highway, came up. We went up and around. Okay, so he actually owns all of those fields. He even owns that field that had the straw sitting in it. We could probably go get that baled to start with. That'll give us some straw. Okay, so everything pretty much needs lime. The grass field needs lime. I guess the vineyard needs plowing. I'm not sure if it needs lime as well. No, the vineyard doesn't need lime, but it does need to be plowed. Uh, there's like some sort of a grass field up here that was half done by the looks of it. Um, anything growing? Uh, probably just the grass. Everything's harvested. That's down to a seed bed, I think. Oh, stubble tillage, I guess. I guess. I'm not sure. 
Okay, well, let's start with the bailing because we'll need to get the straw off the field for that anyways. Uh, I'm not sure what tractor would be best suited for it. Let's see what kind of horsepower is needed. So down into here, the baler requires 195 horsepower and the Massey here has 325. Uh, the T6 has 175, and the little Massey has 145. We needed, what, 190? 195. So, the Massey is up. The Massey gets the bail. Which, it kind of makes sense. It's in the same shed. Get this door slid open. Pop in this beautiful Massey 8S. Got a couple of hours on it. He definitely didn't uh, didn't abuse it too much. Hooked up to the baler. Not bad. Definitely wouldn't want to run into anything in this nice new tractor. That's for sure. Keep going down the road. This is a nice area though, I definitely like this. Oh look at the signals on the Massey, that's sweet. That's awesome, four ways do the same thing? Ah, oh, cool. Cool stuff. Learning something new every day. Okay. So not too many bales will come off of this field, but it's uh, better than nothing, right? Oh, still the tractor out. Here we go. Let's get the baler fired up there. PTO speed. Nice. Very nice. And we are bailing. Not sure what kind of bale sizes we have. Let's just take a little look. See. Um, bale size. What's the biggest bale size we can do? Uh, 240. Let's just stick with 220. 220 seems to be about right. Might get two or three bales off this field. Well, that'll be pretty good. Not sure where he stores his bales or if he's ever really bailed much before. I mean, he's got all the bailing equipment. The baler and the trailer did look brand new. So I'm not sure if he just normally did it loose, but I didn't see a hayloft either. That's the neighbor, I guess. Howdy neighbor, how are you? Oh, well, we've made one bale so far. Down around the headland here. Oh, and we're missing bits. We are missing bits. Just because we're in a new area doesn't mean we're any better of a farmer than what we were. But we've got some nice new equipment to play around with. Not using old junk anymore, so that's good. Well, that's all the bailing done. I think we've got... I think there might be one or maybe two bales sitting there in the actual baler. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just turn it off here and see. Oh, there was two bales in the baler. Oh, cool. So we got four bales total. We'll need to bring the trailer out to get those. A big auto-loading bale trailer is a little bit overkill for four bales, but uh, I think that's the only flatbed trailer that he's got other than the one that's on the back of the semi, which is also overkill. <laughs> so we'll go drop this baler back off in the shop and grab the bale trailer, grab those four bales, and figure out where we're going to store them. So we'll just get pinned on up to the... Bail loading trailer here. We'll go quickly grab those four bales. 
I just haven't seen any place for bail storage. Didn't really want to spend our money on a shed to store bales, but it's almost looking like it's a necessity. And the last bail, pick that up. That did not take very long at all. Hold back up. And away we go down the road. <laughs> oh, that definitely did not take very long at all. So Uncle Glenn normally apparently just stores bales right along through here or on the other side of the pond. Oh, there's a trailer over there too. Is that a rolling trailer? I think that's a rolling trailer. So I guess for right now we'll just drop the bales right over here. I mean, they're straw bales so they're going to be used Probably for bedding, I would assume. We'll back them up a little bit farther here. Hopefully we're far enough away from that tree. Just barely. There we go. Pull away. Drop it back down. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got some pretty big equipment for just having four bales, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. Bigger things to come, that is for sure. I definitely think this Massey is going to be my go-to tractor. I think I've claimed this as mine. It is, uh... They've got a lot of equipment, but they've only got that uh, T8 and this 8S that can really do anything. Uh, that small drop nose Massey's got like 130 horsepower, and the T6, I think it's got like 150. So maybe the T6 could do some fertilizing, some lime spreading, but I don't think it'll be able to seed, or I guess it could roll. I mean, the drop nose Massey is the animal tractor, but, you know, there are some changes Changes I would probably like to make. Uh, with that being said, we could, we could lime that field. That one field does need some lime. A lot of our fields need lime. I think I'm going to stick with the Massey. I wonder if this thing's full. If it's full, that'll be a good thing. It's empty. Oh, it is full. Perfect. Bit of weight behind it. A little bit of weight. Let me just double check what fields need lime. So, 9, 10, most of the grass field, and 2 need lime. So I think we're going to do field 10 to start with. Uh, it is the biggest field that we've got. So we're Definitely going to want to put a pretty good crop into it, that's for sure. Um, I wonder if this can be stubble cultivated. I think it can be. What was oats last? I don't think we had any oats, so I guess he must have already sold that. I guess there's no real best place to start. I guess we'll just start right here. And away we go. Lime in the field. There was more lime in that one shed there right by the main entrance. So if we do run out, we can always get uh, either that telehandler. Probably the telehandler. Probably have enough reach to get the bags lifted up over top of the spreader here. But I'm just going to plug away at this.
So we're going to let the worker carry on with that. And I think I want to run down and take a look at some of these greenhouses. There's all our chickens. Looking good. Fluttering around. Not really sure if we need all the, the dual tires. On this tractor still. We're not really doing too much to need the stability. Let's grab some water here. Got a nice little water tank right here. Back it into the trigger there. Get it filled. And uh, we'll get at least one, maybe two of the greenhouses going. Maybe get some lettuce or some strawberries going. I'm not sure. We've, I think there's three greenhouses over there. So we could do one of each. Well, there's the dog out exploring. 8,000 liters of water. $800. Well, it's not cheap, but hey, it's the cost of doing business, I guess. We'll just sneak around through here. I'll definitely need to do some landscaping along through here. It's kind of rough. Large greenhouse down here. Okay. Let's do lettuce. And let's put it on selling. We'll just sell it right off the right off the hop. Uh, we're definitely gonna need some more water, so let's just come down through here. Oh, this is this is horrible. Oh no. Yeah, some landscaping is in order. Lots of landscaping. I do apologize about that. My forks got stuck in the ground and I can't landscape any better. Apparently, I guess there's that little hole there won't let me do anything. So I ended up having to move the house back, which cost money. And so then I had to re add money and then get rid of money and. All that's a real pain in the rear end because uh, we don't have any tools to do that very well. So I do apologize. I tried to get the money to roughly where it was. I can't remember exactly what it was. But we're close, at least. Um, we also ran out of lime, so we need to run over and fill up the lime spreader so he can carry on with his job. Up over into the telehandler that we got here. This thing might be able to pick up four bags of lime at a time. I don't know. Maybe just two. We shall see. Very delicately. I uh, picked them up. I picked all four of them up pretty good. So that's awesome. We'll just run this out into the field. It should be, I think, 8,000 liters that we've got right here. I think they're 2,000 liters per bag. 
Just need to get the cover open. The cover opens automatically. Perfect. Let's slide those right out. Or not. Okay. We'll open the cover up and this thing will get nice and filled up. It's awesome that we can fill from four bags at a time. It definitely makes these refill jobs a lot easier. And that should be enough for him to finish, I would think. Eight thousand liters is a decent amount of lime. And just carry on doing that. We're definitely gonna need to fill that up more times, but at least to get through this one field. Shouldn't be too bad, I hope. We'll just park the telehandler back over here. Got enough spot for it. And let's go see how our water is doing. Our water tank is filled up. So let's go start that other greenhouse. I am going to have to make a couple of trips back and forth. This tanker only holds 8,000 liters. And I definitely would not want to get any bigger of a tanker in the tight spaces that we are in. We'll come right down to the second one here over the bumps. Hopefully we can get it in the trigger there. We can. Awesome. And this greenhouse should be filling up with water. It is. Perfect. For some reason it's not letting me bring up the trigger. There we go. And this one will also do lettuce for right now. And we'll do selling as well. So we'll get paid per hour from these two greenhouses, which is nice. And then we'll save this one for strawberries when, uh, if we ever need them for productions or anything. A fair few trees down back here too. We could probably do something with those at some time. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the transfer episode from the survival on Bucks County to... Try not to go into any more debt, or try to get out of debt on Elm Creek. So far, it's all good. <laughs> all we've been doing is spending money since we got here, so that's great. Um, but if you liked what you see, hit that like button. If you enjoy me and like what I'm doing here, hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. Uh, if you want to keep updated with all the content that I put out, there's a little bell down there that you can ring. And it'll give you a notification every time I upload. Uh, with that said, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Toodles!